One thing that I really wanted to do right from the start was just have something that was like super tactile in your hands, like a game that you don't just like touch, you actually like really feel it in your hands. You feel like you're holding like a, a little universe. Something beautiful about just seeing how it kind of, or just how versatile it can be. Brainstorming ideas and some of them we were like tearing up and screwing up into balls and throwing them around. And we started thinking, well, maybe, maybe this is the world, you know? It's sitting all around on our desks, all this paper everywhere. Paper just has like really unique movements and it's like really, really flexible. And it actually provides a really interesting like limitation when you're designing the world. Tear Away I really like because it kind of sums up a whole load of different things about the game. There's like the main character, the little messenger character, who's like a little tear away. You know, they're kind of a little bit cheeky and sort of, they've got a real personality to them. Sort of exist as a player holding this whole world and you can sort of exert your like godly influence on it. Um, and we're really playing with this sort of the way the outside real world and the game world are all kind of all getting mushed up together and reaching into the Vita with your fingers and stuff. You can really like sort of peel down mountains and using the rear touch you can like smash your fingertips up into the landscape sort of tear things around. We're not focusing like really big deal on combat, we're trying to deal with it in a more kind of um, puzzly, uh, adventurous kind of way and sort of be very focused on that one material and just see, you know, just how far we can take it.